Hello, everyone. I'm Toshi, the producer of Dragon Ball Legends. I'm glad you've joined us today. And I say us because... Nice to meet you, everyone. My name is Yuka, and I'll be assisting Toshi starting with this episode of Reviews and Stuff. Together, we hope to bring you even more fun and excitement as we share the latest news and reveal new characters coming to Dragon Ball Legends. We hope you watch all the way to the end. Now, let's get things started. First up, let's talk about the new tag Dragon Ball that was added last month. I hear that Dragon Ball parties are even shaking things up in PvP. That is right. The addition of this new tag has brought new synergies to the game, especially with the new characters based on the Dragon Ball The Path to Power movie. These were a first for Legends. It's been quite a while since we featured Dragon Ball Saga characters, so we try to keep the current meta in mind as we balance the overall power of their parties. I feel like we did a pretty good job of making sure they could be competitive. This is the first time Piccolo Jr. and Android A have joined Legends as playable characters, so there are exciting new additions too. Quite a few characters from early on in Dragon Ball have yet to make it in-game, so I'm glad we had the chance to add a few more. Just considering abilities, Ere Goku Youth stands out as a real powerhouse. With an uncancelable buff that nullifies special cover changes when activating Rising Rush, Goku can launch an offense without having to worry about Goku and Frieza. What's even more terrifying is using them together. And this Goku gets buffs every time you gain a Dragon Ball, which we thought was a very fitting ability and we had fun implementing it. I also love the power of Master Roshi's Kamehameha. He's the one who created the technique after all. Master Roshi was strong enough to destroy the moon, so we had to make his Kamehameha suitably powerful. Characters from Dragon Ball that pass to power are also strong choices when making sagas from the movies parties. Coincidentally, episode campaign, Sagas from the Movies, has been on since October 11th, so we hope you'll try them in parties together with the upcoming characters too. That sounds like a great reason to be excited for today's character reveals. But first, let's start off with some Legends update info. We have loads of information to share about the updates we have planned for November. Starting with... New items that let you change the in-game background are coming to Legends. You'll be able to change the in-game background starting with the next update. Changing the background makes each character stand out in new ways, and if you pick a different background than the usual one, it will give Legends a whole new feel as you play. You're absolutely right. Try out all the different backgrounds and see what works best with your favorite characters. Now, here's our next topic. You'll soon be able to sort your titles based on the order you receive them. If you've ever tried to set a specific title and just couldn't find it no matter how hard you looked, then this is the update for you. It should make it a whole lot easier to find titles, so we hope it serves you well. Next up... A new tier will be added to the guild rankings, Godly. Gold has been the highest up until this point, but now you'll be able to go even higher. Right. It's always fun to compete individually, but competing together as a guild is another exciting aspect of Legends. So work hard with your fellow guild members and aim for that new godly tier. We're also updating cheers so that you'll be able to see who cheered you. Even if someone sent you a cheer and gave you some energy, who did it has always been a mystery, so it was hard to return the favor. And now, if you send a cheer, it would be nice to know that your good deed will be acknowledged. Of course, it's not like players are forced to send cheers, and you shouldn't feel obligated to send a cheer back in return. Keep playing at your own pace and send some cheers if and when you feel like it. That's true. We hope you'll use them to support other players in your guild. Alright, moving on. A new godly rank will be added for equipments. There's going to be a higher rank than Z plus now? Wait. So you mean slots for current equipment will be able to get even stronger effects and we'll all have to start re-upgrading them again? No, actually, it's not that the upper limit is increasing. Rather, the ranks will be just more precise. For example, if you have a Z-plus piece of equipment where each slot is near the max value, 
then it will now be considered godly rank. If you just barely manage to get a piece to Z+, then it will still be considered Z+ rank. This new godly rank will be applied to equipment you already own, so be sure to check and see after the update. Got it. Personally, I'm going to want to get all the equipment for my main party app to godly rank though. There may not be much difference between Z+ and godly, so it's really just for personal satisfaction. But Using a party decked out with godly equipment is sure to put some pressure on your opponents. We hope you all aim for the new godly rank. Now for some pretty exciting news. We talked about it earlier this year in a Legends Management Team newsletter, but we're adding new Limited Z abilities exclusive to Legends Limited characters. Note that Limited Z abilities will be different from Z abilities and will be applied by Legends Limited Rarity Battle Members to allies. When a Limited Z ability is active, allies will get buffs to base strike and blast attack as well as to base strike and blast defense. Buffs from multiple Legends Limited Rarity Battle Members will stack and will all be applied. Another important difference is that for each Legends Limited Rarity Battle Member, allies will get an attack buff. They will vary depending on the character, but we plan for these to be attack buffs against individual tags like Tag Lineage of Evil. Keep in mind that the bonuses of all Legends Limited Rarity Battle Members will be applied to allies. These attack buffs will be unlocked with Limited Z Ability 3, and that will require limit breaking your Legends Limited characters to star 6. These Limited Z abilities will only take effect if the character is a battle member, so please keep that in mind. These attack buffs are still being fine-tuned at this time, and that means that the information we presented today is subject to change. But we hope you look forward to it all the same. Since they only take effect if the character is a battle member and they give attack buffs against specific tags, that means you are going to want a variety of other characters in your party to get attack buffs against multiple tags. Correct. Combining multiple Legends Limited characters with strong Ultra and Sparking characters should make for a very solid party composition. These Limited Z abilities will also get stronger as you limit break each character. After the release, you'll definitely want to check out the Limited Z abilities of each of your Legends Limited characters. And that was the last bit of update info that we had for you today. We have a number of other updates in the works, but the ones we share today are planned for around mid-November. We hope you're getting excited for them. But now, it's time for some Legends news. We have all the latest info on the episode, campaign, sagas from the movies, and we're bringing it straight to you. We've already seen a new Tapion from the Dragon Ball Z Wrath of the Dragon that you can get from the ongoing Fierce Fight Hero Tapion event. But the new title screen and the green Super Gogeta who just got a Zenkai Awakening are both based on the Dragon Ball Z Fusion Reborn movie. Based on all that information, you might already have an idea of who the new characters will be. I wonder how many of you predicted this one. Let's get right to it. Are you all ready? Check this out. That is right! Straight from the Dragon Ball Z Fusion Reborn movie comes a brand new Super Janemba in Ultra Rarity. Wow, it's been a long time since we've had a new Janemba. The last one was the Red Janemba released in January 2020, so it's been about three and a half years. There hasn't even been a Legends Limited version, so we hope that caught a few of you off guard. 
I'm sure it did. Omega Shenron also got a sudden ultra, but that was an event exclusive character, so this is a quite a shock. This was a true of last month's Dragon Ball Saga campaign, but it really is nice that so many characters we haven't seen for a while are returning. We decided these episode campaigns would be the perfect opportunity to put the spotlight on some characters who haven't been getting much attention, so please look forward to seeing who will be next as well. I sure am. There were a lot of things that stood out in Janemba's moves. All the warping of attacks, turning into cubes to evade, and doing other strange things you might remember from the movie. You won't want to miss them. Janemba's abilities also fit the character as well, so let's dive right into explaining them. Super Janemba has a melee type battle style and the element is blue, something regeneration parties have long been waiting for. The character tags are Transforming Warrior, Regeneration, and Powerful Opponent. Since it targets Regeneration and Sagas from the movies, the Z Ability 3 benefits a wide range of characters, allowing Super Janemba to fit in tons of party formations. Regeneration characters also fall under Super Janemba's Ultra Ability. What makes this Super Janemba stand out is the ability to weaken enemies, generous health restoration, and counter functionality. Combine that with the ability to inflict bleed statuses with high damaging special move and ultimate arts and you have an almighty character that excels at both offense and defense. The crux of that power lies in Super Janemba's counter type unique gauge. The easiest way to describe this unique gauge might be to call it a strike version of the blast counter that Ultra Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Gogeta from last year's Legends Festival has. Let's get into some of the details. While on the battlefield or when on standby, the unique gauge will gradually charge up. Once it's full, the whole unique gauge will be consumed in order to counter the enemy strike arts as well as forward charging or certain other special move and special arts, with some exceptions. That means that if your enemy has you in a combo and they use a strike arts or, with some exceptions, a forward charging or certain other special move or special arts, then you will be able to put an end to it. After unleashing a counter, you can combo into a special move or ultimate arts, but the first time you unleash one, you'll draw an ultimate arts that you can use for a guaranteed follow-up. Even if your opponent predicts your evasion, if they use a strike arts or a forward charging or certain other special move or special arts, you'll get a chance to turn the tide and that is incredibly powerful. When this counter activates, you will also recover 100% of your Vanishing Gauge and boost own Arts card draw speed, making it easier to counterattack. Even if it's your second counter or beyond and you won't draw an Ultimate Arts, this ability is still designed to help you turn things around. But this all-in-one unique gauge isn't Super Genemba's only trick. This character also has very easy-to-use offensive abilities. Upon entering the battlefield, Super Janemba recovers key and draws an arts card at random if you have three or fewer cards, and when using strike or blast arts cards, Super Janemba gets a buff that nullifies enemy special cover changes for a number of timer counts. If this is after a counter, it's your chance to keep on the offense. For a number of timer counts after the battle starts, Ultra Super Janemba will have a buff that nullifies the enemy's reduced key effects. There are many characters that can reduce key and leverage that to limit combos, but this Super Janemba can lay on the pressure while paying key reduction no mind. Having nullification for both special cover changes and key reduction effects is quite powerful and will help prevent your opponent from disrupting your combos. Using this Super Janemba will be a breeze. Lastly, let's talk about Super Janemba's defensive and cover change abilities. Super Janemba has a special cover change against Blast Arts that you can follow up with a special move arts. Super Janemba has a balanced defense with a special cover change versus blast attacks and a counter against strike attacks. Next, when an enemy activates an ultimate, awakening arts, or a rising rush, Super Janemba has the ability to lower ally substitution counts by 10. So, even if the enemy fires off a rising rush or an ultimate arts, you can just calmly switch to a character with an endurance effect or the like. The counter looks incredibly strong. 
I forgot to mention this earlier, but the unique gauge even starts the battle off at 100%. So, the auto counter can be used right from the start. Once it activates, you'll be in a great position to start a ferocious offense. Ultra Super Janemba could walk in sagas from the movie's parties, alongside the characters we mentioned earlier, from Dragon Ball the Path to Power, but it could also work well in regeneration parties with Piccolo Jr. With additions like Ultra Boo, Kid, Legends Limited, Perfect Form Cell, and Orange Piccolo, Regeneration got some significant buffs this year. We hope you'll try Janemba in regeneration parties and not just in sagas from the movies parties. More detailed info about this new character will be posted to the site that we've linked in the video description, so don't forget to check it out after this show is over. That is it for a new character info, but check out this next bit of news about events. It's time for a World Challenge Raid, and this time the boss is Super Gogeta. Last month, we held Beat the Heat, Summer Non-Stop Raids, but there will be raids again this month too. Not only will there be Chrono Crystals, but lots of other great rewards as well, so you won't want to miss it. It'll be the perfect chance to stock up on slot removers and other items. Coming up, we also have... Announcing the films Strike Back. We've been releasing these kind of events during the episode campaigns. This is an event where each stage requires a certain character to play it. This event will require these sagas from the movie's characters. A lot of these are older characters, so I'm sure there are players who will be able to play all of these stages right from the start. Of course, this will also be a permanent event, so there's no time limit. You can get Chrono Crystals and Slot Removers as rewards, so if your characters don't meet the Limit Break requirements, you'll be able to play and clear this event whenever they do. Now, time for a new Zenkai Awakening! Red Super Janemba from episode Sagas from the Movies is getting a Zenkai Awakening. This Janemba is also one of the required characters for stages in the film Strike Back event we just introduced. Looks like its Zenkai abilities boost red characters. That is right. It targets characters who are Element Red and Episode Sagas from the Movies. That means this ability will boost characters like LL Final Form Cooler and Pan from Dragon Ball Super Superhero. I bet you could make some devious parties with an ability like that. Even Gohan from Dragon Ball Super Superhero would get a boost, so we hope you'll try a bunch of different party compositions. You can earn Awakening Z Power from Zenkai Rush Battle and Missions, so do your best to awaken this character. Now, for our last bit of news. A new unique equipment is being added. This equipment can be used by characters who are both Tag Regeneration and Element Blue. You definitely want this equipment for the new Ultra Super Janemba, right? Right. There is a huge difference between having and not having unique equipments, so be sure to play the new stage and get the best equipment you can so you can bring your characters to the next level. Now, please check in-game after the update to learn more about the equipment's effects. With that, we've shared all of the news that we had for you today. With the new Ultra Super Janemba and Red Super Janemba's Zenkai Awakening, it feels like this campaign is focused on Janemba. True, but it's been a while and we wanted to give Janemba some time to shine, so we hope you'll all enjoy this. You'll also be able to hear the song, We Got a Power, in-game, so give that a listen too. There are lots more events that we have planned coming up, so we hope you're excited for more. Don't forget that we plan to release both the Legends Limited exclusive, Limited Z abilities, and the new Godly Rank for equipments that we talked more about today, plus even more in an update scheduled for November. So, don't miss that out. We post info that didn't make it into the program, announcements, and plenty more on our official social media accounts. So if you haven't already, please give us a follow. Thank you all for watching, and we hope to see you all again in the next Reveals and Stuff. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>